Hey all, how's everyone doing? Uh, just a, sort of a, a report on um, the uh, day one of the uh, Wedge Marathon. Uh, things are going pretty well. I spent uh, a good part of the day um, dialing this, this little jig in that you see here. Uh, and, and things were going well, um, as you can see. Uh, and then, for some reason, the uh, bandsaw blade wasn't tracking right, which was throwing off the angles. So I reasoned that I need uh, a new bandsaw blade, and I, I, I need to go buy one because I think the blade that's in there right now is too wide, um, and it's just uh, it's just not working the way I want to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna drop down to like a three eighths width blade and have it super sharp and then I can get through some of the harder material but uh, so far we've uh, we're we're just doing basic poplar we're gonna have oodles of poplar wedges and let's see I cut some black locust um, and uh, some red cedar western red cedar uh, a little bit of jatoba uh, let's see and some bloodwood and uh, uh, hickory. Um, at the end of the video, you'll see some spalted hickory. And uh, so, it, and it's really pretty. It looks like zebra wood, actually. And uh, after after this first session, we're gonna go two more days. I had to take apart the, the fence and stuff on the, on the bandsaw because I couldn't tie the bandsaw up. I need it for other stuff. But uh, I'm really struggling with uh, offering exotic wedges. Um, you know, I've got a $180 piece of Purple Heart and a $100 piece of Jatoba. And being a cabinet and furniture guy, I, it's hard for me to justify cutting these up into wedges for axes. Now, if there's off fall, um, I'd be happy to do that. But so. So I'm kind of, that's just kind of my, my struggle with it. Um, but uh, this, this phase right here just turns out a perfect wedge every time. And it also, when you run a wedge, when you first run the first wedge and you have that one straight, uh, that one perpendicular uh, edge to the, uh, to the angled edge that you just cut, this allows you to reshape that edge and, and save, save out the wedge. So that's kind of tricky too. Um, I think we probably, all in all, we probably made about 100 wedges um, this day. Um, pretty good selection. Um, custom sizes, I'm gonna make a whole bunch of different sizes because everybody likes something a little different. Um, and uh, I'll, of course, do a, a custom size that anybody wants me to, but anyway. Not too bad. Sorry, it's not in the in the frame as good, but they're they're really nice. And here's some of that spalted hickory. Talk to you later.